Hello there, everybody! This is Asamonga Doll Fan speaking, and I'm back with yet another commentary. Say, have you ever heard of a guy called Steve Jobs? You haven't? Well, let me take the time to explain who he exactly is. And that's why Steve Jobs is awesome. So, with that said, why do I bring him up? Well, today I found two rant videos on the Apple Company. One made by DJM995 and one made by Porkchop Player. Now, I'm doing this as a double commentary, not just because these videos are on the exact same subject, but for the most part, these videos are pretty short, ranging from 2 to 3 minutes at most. And I might as well knock out two videos with one commentary. So anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Hey YouTube, today I'm going to give you a rant about Apple, the company Apple that makes the iPhones, iPads, all that good stuff. Now, I'm going to first say, though, Apple does make great products. There's no denying the, qual denying the quality of their products. They make great products. They put out great products. That's why you see so many people with iPhones. It's because they're real popular. And so are the Transformers and movies. IPhones, it's got a good build. The quality of the products is not my problem. And this is my problem with Apple, and this is why I'm making this rant. They are so overpriced with everything and the fact that they're proprietary makes it so much worse because you have to spend the money on whatever you need for your Apple device this is as an example when the iPhone 5 came out that the head they came with a pair of headphones with them the unique iPhone 5 headphones but if you were gonna get the iPhone 5 headphones without buying the iPhone 5 they were thirty dollars separately thirty dollars is a lot for Apple's uh, headphones that's just I see that as a ripoff that's not worth thirty dollars really you think that paying $30 for a pair of earbuds or headphones is a ripoff? Well, in that case, let me tell you about the Beats Audio headphones. You see, I've been to several electronic stores and asked a few people who own a pair of these how much they cost, and based on my research, these specific brand of headphones cost as much as the amount of money you would pay for a new Kindle Fire or iPod. And I can understand if these were the only earbuds that were compatible with the iPhone, but from what I've seen, that is not at all the case. I mean, honestly, I would price it at 10 That's what I would price Apple's headphones, is 10 Because the quality, it's not that it's bad, it's just not $30 worth. Apple just, they overprice their products, and they know they can overprice their products because they're so proprietary. The chargers, there's only one type of charger for the iPhone 4 if you still have an iPhone 4, and you have to pay whatever they price their iPhone uh, 4 charger at. They're, they're like a monopoly. That's a good way to put them. They're a monopoly. You have to pay for products that only they have. Well, yes, I will say that Apple's products are not very cheap, but here's the fallacy in your argument. You say that Apple is like a monopoly, when in fact, that is not at all how a monopoly works. You see, a monopoly is when a single person or group gains complete control of a product or service. A company with a monopoly has no economic competition and therefore can set prices as it wishes. But since we're talking about electronic devices, like a smartphone for example, that is not at all the case because there is plenty of competition coming from other electronic companies who sell similar devices that are either less expensive or more expensive than Apple's products. And you can't... And that's, that's why I kind of prefer Android, because Android is not as proprietary, and Apple just... It seems like they're just more greedy than anything. They do put out good quality products that work really well, but at the price that they put them at, they they just rip people off. They know they can press it whatever they want, and people have to buy it. They don't have to buy it. They could buy an Android device, but there's certain device uh, at little there's certain accessories that the iPhone 4, iPhone 5 takes that they could press it whatever they want because you need those accessories. I'm just saying the. Apple, they're just overpriced and they're greedy, and I really don't care for that. I know I have an iPhone 4, but it's just not worth it. They're just overpriced. That's all I want to say for now. I'll see you later. All right, now that we got that video out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at Pork Chop Player's rant. Hello, I'm the Pork Chop Player, and I'm going to rant on Apple products. Let me just start by saying they are overly expensive. Let me just imagine. If you can just imagine what Steve Jobs was thinking when he first made the iPod.
Hello, I'm Steve Jobs, and I'm going to make this tiny little thing that only holds a thousand songs, and you cannot re-upload and blah blah blah. I wonder why other rants don't start off with an awesome impression like this one. And in this 1930s scene, it costs a lot of money. In modern day U.S., it will pro probably cost five hundred dollars. <laughs> and then um, he, when he later created the phone and the pad and the, the, the pad, sounds like a woman's product. The tablet. He was probably like. And when I make the tablet and so forth, I will make them virtually destructible by any device. Don't worry, I will sell $100 cases to everyone uh, when they buy it. And if they don't, they're fucked. I'm gonna set them up for disaster. And... scene. Okay, I didn't know this was a play, but... Uh, whatever. <laughs> but it's really in it's really mainstream too because there's ten year olds that have it and I'm thirteen and there's no way I am going to afford an Apple product. Ten year olds walk around with iPads and like seven year olds walk around with iPads at the camp I go to and it's really, 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 really stupid mainstream and And this is a problem with the company how? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Apple gears their products towards a specific demographic or age group. And really, it doesn't matter if it's mainstream or not. If people want to use Apple products, then that's their choice. And also, from the way you're describing the situation, you think that the simple usage of an Apple product by a person under the age of 13 automatically means that they are a rich snob who is more spoiled than Montana Max. I don't know how their parents afford it. Honestly, you would have to be really rich to afford an Apple product, and if you aren't, look around your house. Everything might be really expensive, and if not, everything's shit, and then the Apple product's the one good thing, good, thing in your house. Because they're also very hackable. I mean, hackers either use Linux, or they use Macs. And... That says something. It does? And honestly, I had the nastiest virus from my friend's Mac computer. I think it was like the MacBook Air or whatever. And we were like playing games and giving me like the nastiest virus. So, take that unhackable, unvirusable Apple products. I'm sorry, but unless you can provide some solid evidence to back up your claim, I refuse to believe that you went on this one game site, got a virus, and possibly crashed your friend's entire computer. Either that, or your friend must have been using the world's shittiest antivirus software. Whatever. And talk about overly expensive. I thought I covered this already like three times, but still. Whatever. So. This has been the pork shop player. Oh yeah, I forgot. On my page, there's a link to the Debian to my Debian art page. I'll also, post one down in the description, where you should also be subscribing and downloading this video. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You don't have to download, but you have to subscribe. But in the description, I started a new fan fiction about Pokemon. It's a manga, so you might not be able to read it if you're like American as fuck. Well then, why did you put it in Japanese if you knew for a fact that people who live outside of Japan were not going to be able to read it? Yeah, kind of a dumbass move there, don't you think? And, uh, this has been the Pork Shop Player. Check it out, subscribe, peace out. Well, folks, now that both videos are done playing, it's time for me to give my final thoughts. Now, one of the main problems I have with both videos is the lack of solid evidence, especially from Porkchop's rant when he claimed that Mac computers can be hacked. Another problem I have with both videos is the overuse of hyperbole in their arguments, like how DJM said that Apple was a monopoly and people can only buy products from their company, and how Porkchop said that you have to be 13 to use an Apple product or else you're nothing more than a rich snob who likes the mainstream. Look, I'm all for hyperbole if it's used in the right situations, but if you're going to do that and expect people to take what you say seriously, then of course it's not going to turn out as well as you may think. 
Anyway, that's all I have to say. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Azamanga Dao Fan signing out.